You know, one thing that I'd love to talk about is your just, you know, before your, your self-created master's degree, what was your education background like? You know, I get a lot of people like, what should I study in college to get into this? Um, and, you know, I kind of think, um, and you're a perfect example of this, maybe it doesn't matter as much as you think. Yeah. Well, just just to touch on that, I think if I read the prerequisites for for the deep learning nanogre, if I before I signed up, I might not have signed up. So <laughs> that's kind of like a little bit of blind ignorance there. Um, but it all worked out. But um, yeah, what I studied so beforehand, um, I've actually had quite an eclectic. Put it this way: I finished high school in 2010, and then I I started university in 2011 um studying a, a biomedical science degree so basically in australia to get into medicine which is uh what i i thought i wanted to get into um you have to you need if you can't get directly in and to get directly in you need some ridiculous like test results and all that sort of stuff and i wasn't that person because in in high school i preferred to play call of duty than study um and so I signed up for this biomedical science degree, which is kind of like the stepping stone to get into medicine. And truth be told, like the only real reason I, I chose that was if I reflect back was because one, a girl I kind of had a crush on was studying it. And two, I thought it would be cool to tell people um, I was studying to be a doctor. So it was more of a, it was more of a status thing and just following this, this cute girl than uh, me even considering what I, I wanted to learn and put it this way. I really didn't know. <laughs> like I was just, yeah. I just thought that, that going to university after high school was the thing that you do. Um, I really didn't know any better anyway. So I studied that for two years and failed pretty miserably because um, first of all, I didn't do any biology in high school. So I was again trying to like learn pre-medicine biology in university at the same time as uh, I remember actually one of the, in like the first lecture of the biology introduction is the, the lecturer was like, look left and right because 30% of you are going to fail. That means one out of three of you aren't going to pass this course. And I looked to my left and right and I'm like, that's not going to be me. It turns out it was me. Um, and so that was like two years. The first two years, um, I had to have a meeting. I got an email one day from the science dean, which basically said, hey, come see the science dean about your results. I went and saw him and it said, and he said, look, what's going on with your results? It was basically like a, why should we keep you at university kind of thing if you're just going to fail all of your subjects and, and not pass or whatever. And I was like, oh, whoa, this is actually kind of serious. <laughs> um, and so that was like a, a good wake up call actually. Um, and so I gave a bunch of excuses like why I wasn't doing too well. The real reason was just because um, I was just lazy and I, it wasn't, I wasn't studying the thing that I was, that naturally sparked my interest. And I mean, of course I could have actually got into it and then it probably would have, the interest would have came later after I got better at it. But I found myself on the side I was into, I was into weightlifting and, and a heap of sports. I found myself rather than studying for the exams I had at university, I was like researching hardcore online. I'm talking watching YouTube till like 11 PM at night later of just um, how people would eat and, and train for different sports. So I was getting really into nutrition on the side. And then I kind of told the, the science team, I was like, he, oh, he asked me, do you want to change to anything? I'm like, well, I've been learning about nutrition. Can I study that? And he's like, yeah, why don't you just change to study nutrition? And I'm like, huh, so you mean I can just change to this thing I'm already studying on the side and like do it properly at university? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, okay, I'll do that. And so the next semester, which was, I think the start of 2014 maybe, because 2011, two years failing and then the next year anyway the years don't really matter but as after the two years of failing i switched to nutrition and food science and basically got top marks without even really trying because i was already like studying this hardcore on the side like watching videos reading books trying experiments myself 
And that's, and that's, I think the biggest takeaway I actually got from university. So I ended up graduating in 2015 with a food science and nutrition degree. It probably would have been like honors or whatever, not that I really cared, but because my GPA was already uh, so low from the first two years, it kind of, it wiped out any chance of getting like good marks later on. And so 2015, food science and nutrition. And then 2016, before I started studying deep learning and machine learning and data science in 2017, I actually studied um, languages for two years. I mean, a year. So Chinese and Japanese. I've, I've basically forgotten it since then um, because if you don't use it, you lose it, right? But the biggest takeaway I got from university, I think, was learning how to learn. And you don't necessarily need this to go to college to, to get that skill. Um, but once I figured out like that, that light bulb moment of sitting across the science stand going, Hey, you can, you can study this thing that you're already interested in. That was like, like just a mind shattering moment for me. Cause that's what sort of got, went and told me, like I learned the lesson. I was like, wow, I can, if, if there's something I'm interested in, I can just go and learn that. Like, I don't necessarily have to follow any set pathway. Like it's just like, Oh, there's that thing. You know what? That's already sparking my curiosity. I'm going to go try it out. And that's kind of the exact same, like learning how to learn lesson that I applied to machine learning that kind of got me to where I am now.